Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Mike Lauper here and today I want to talk to you guys about why you need to niche down, what the importance is of niching down and what you're going to gain from niching down. What is the actual effect on YouTube and the algorithm if you start specializing in one specific topic? All right, let's talk a little bit about what niching down is and why you should even try to do that. So niching down is basically taking the entire spectrum of videos that you could possibly make and figuring out what area you're going to specialize in. So what videos do you actually want to make and, and what are they going to relate to? So why would you want to niche down? What is the benefit to you to niching down? What is it that you're going to get from YouTube if you start specializing and being very specific about the content that you create? Well, for one, the content you create is all going to relate to each other. So if someone's interested in one video, chances are they're gonna to wanna to binge watch a few more of your videos. People are gonna watch your videos more, that's gonna drive your numbers up. If your numbers drive up and your videos drive up and people watch more of your videos, chances are you're gonna start hitting that algorithm and YouTube is gonna start suggesting you to people on their homepages. That's because people are interested in your content. So people who watch similar things to the people who are watching your videos right now are gonna start seeing your videos show up on their homepage. And since they're interested in the topic anyway, they may actually click on your videos and you're gonna gain some more viewers. Those viewers can then be turned into subscribers fairly straightforward because you're gonna have a lot of content that they're interested in, a lot of similar content. And that's really the secret about niching down is that you're gonna get more and more content that is similar to the rest of your content. And the more you have, the more people are going to be interested in seeing that. For example, when you come to my channel, I'm hoping that you're looking to learn something about how to grow your YouTube channel or how to create YouTube channel or how to create videos, basically anything relating to YouTube channels and your channel and growing your personal brand and becoming a YouTuber or growing your YouTube audience. So these are kind of the things that I focus on. I focus specifically on what you should do to create good thumbnails, how to uh, optimize your videos for search engines, how to shoot your video, how to light your video, how to sound, how, how to camera, all the how to's that you can possibly think of around creating content for YouTube. So let's get back to it. Why should you niche down and how should you pick your niche? So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you wanna think a little bit about what do you know a lot about? This is kind of important because you can make a lot of videos about one specific topic. It's probably a good idea to have a good amount of information already available in your brain that's gonna help you create good videos. When you are choosing your niche, what are some of the factors that I considered or that you maybe would want to consider when you are choosing which niche you're going to fit into? So one of the first things that I did when I started uploading videos is, honestly, I was trying to make uh, content that I wanted to watch. I think that's kind of an important thing. You're gonna to wanna to make something that you yourself are interested in because that's gonna show the public. You're gonna be able to drive your passion into that if you're actually interested in what you're creating. Now for me, that was at the beginning was my, my new Tesla that I just bought and I really wanted to make videos about how the features of the Tesla are so amazing. And that's because I just watched maybe 100,000 videos about Tesla before I actually got the car. I was so excited about that particular purchase. Now that worked out for me for about three months and then I got a little bit bored creating that content. So that wasn't really a good niche to choose, right? So basically making videos about Teslas wasn't what I wanted to do. So the first thing I started doing when I started vlogging is I started watching a lot of videos and the first videos I bumped into were videos about technique, right? So how do you make your shots more cinematic? How do you make your video more beautiful? What's important when you add this, that, or the other into your video? And those those topics kind of really resonated with me because that kind of lined up with the things I was already interested in and the things I like to do. So I like shooting videos, I like cameras, I like sound, I like knowing about these things, I like learning about these things. And and the other piece that I really like is technology. I really like knowing about technology and learning about that things. Now, my profession is software engineer, so writing code is something I'm already familiar with, so understanding how code works was kind of a niche right there on its own. Putting all those three things together really made sense for me. So when I started choosing my niche, I thought about what it is that I wanted to do, and I basically looked at what I was watching on YouTube to figure out what was interesting to me. I wanted to make videos that were interesting to me that I would want to watch. So when I first started making YouTube videos, I started watching a lot stuff about how to create good content on YouTube. That was an interest of mine. I really wanted to understand how to edit, how to take, uh, how to set up your camera, how to set up your lights, how to take good pictures, how to take good thumbnail pictures, how to shoot good video, how to make it look cinematic, what was the content like. So I ended up learning a lot about cameras and equipment and how to use it and how to make things look good and how to edit things together. And those, those 
subjects came very handy to me because they also were very easy for me to learn and they were very interesting to me. So I wanted to make content like that, stuff that I liked. The second piece was I'm a software engineer, so I really understand how code works and I really wanted to make videos to help pass on some of my ideas on how YouTube's algorithm works, how the search engine works and how you can improve your chances when you're uploading your videos. And the third piece was technology. I really wanted to talk about technology and where it was going and quite frankly that worked out really well with cameras as well because I'm very interested in high-tech cameras and how you can use those those cameras to improve your videos and what it is that you can use. And I'm, it's just the coolness factor alone just drives me nuts it's just wonderful I just want to dig in and, 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 and look at them and then play with them and it's just it's a really wonderful thing when you're really excited about something that you're interested in and that you're trying to make a business out of and that's the third or that's the final piece of the puzzle I wanted something that was going to be sustainable in the future that I'm interested in that I can make videos about and hopefully build a personal brand around and become an expert in so that you guys want to watch my videos and you want to watch more of my videos and more of my videos so that was kind of the key thing that I was looking for because I want this to be a business I I want to make money at this. I want to be able to do this for a living. So if you're looking to niche down, you need to ask yourself, what is it that you really like to do? What is it that you really want to do? And what is it that's going to be sustainable for you? And if you're planning on being on YouTube for a long time, you're going to need to have a subject that's going to keep you engaged and keep you interested. And if you're interested, you're going to keep creating content that you really like. So how do you go about picking your niche? You know, when you're getting started, it's really hard to figure out what it is that you want to do on YouTube. I personally think it's very important to go with something that you really like, that you're excited about. But what if what you're excited about doesn't do well on YouTube? So the very first thing I would do is I would take your idea and I would log on to YouTube and I would type it into the address bar and into the search bar and I would check out to see what kind of content comes up for that, how many people are watching that content, is that popular content and what does the competition look like in that content field, right? So what is the niche doing and how is it going to affect what you're doing? What happened next in my channel is the, the content really just wasn't moving forward very well. It was really difficult to figure out what I wanted to do with that. So honestly, I, I took a good hard look at what I wanted to do and, and I, 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 looked, I looked at kind of the things that I really know how to do. I'm a software engineer, so I understand software. I'm pretty good with cameras, so that was one thing I wanted to do. Uh, lighting and, and that good stuff is all very straightforward. And I, I started to think about what is it that, 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 that really ties this all together for YouTube, and it turns out that creating content requires all of these skill sets that you need to assemble if you're gonna make good videos. And, and I found that I was already good at most of those things. So from my perspective, it seemed very straightforward that these are the pieces that I wanted to put together. And as I evolved through that, I figured, well, I'm gonna share that. I'm gonna try and give the information that I'm collecting back to you guys. And I think you're gonna enjoy that as well. And then combining that with vlogging, I would be able to do the things that I wanna do, which is technology, cameras, lighting, all the good stuff that I'm doing doing here, sharing that, educating you guys on what it is that I'm doing, sharing my analytics with you guys so that you can see how it's moving forward for me or not moving forward for me. That way you can see what's working, what's not working. And I still get to do my vlogging as well. So that's kind of how I picked my niche. For you guys, you're going to have to pick your niche based on your interests, what you think you can sustain. If you think you can make 100 videos on a specific topic, that might be your niche. But if you think you can make two videos on that and then you can run out of ideas, probably not the one you want to go with. So basically, one of the things I would recommend is writing down a couple of ideas that you have of what niches you might fit into, and then trying to come up with video ideas for each of those niches. You're going to find that one of these categories, it's very easy for you to come up with content ideas, and the others might be a little harder. If they're all working really well for you, well, kudos to you, you've got like three niches you're good at. But basically, you're going to feel like one of these fits best, one of them's easiest to generate content for. And that's kind of where I would go with niching down. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, and ring the bell if you want to be notified about future videos. I don't know, we're gonna see what happens with that one. I also do, what do I wanna say here? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and today I wanna to talk to you a little bit about niching down and why, you, blah, 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 blah. I hate it the way that opens. So cinematography or, or, or cameras, really like them. So cameras, and cinematography and, and, and taking photographs and photography, those were really a big interest to me. Okay, I think that looks good. What do you guys think? Good, 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 good. Thumbs up, yes. Okay. Number two, I really, really wanted to do, uh, shoot, I cannot keep my thoughts straight here.
Hey guys, Mike Lopper here with another interesting vlog for you guys to take a look at. And today we're gonna to talk about niching down. Why do you want to niche down? What is the importance of niching down? And how the heck do you pronounce niche? Is it niche? Is it niche? Is it niche? Is it niche? I think it's niche. 